Hello everyone, my name is Fungusen and welcome back to this Imperatorum Purple Phoenix campaign. Where we seem to have managed to get the Democrats in power, which is more than unfortunate I'd say. Because um, they're rubbish. I mean, I guess they give um, citizen output, but... Meh. I don't think that's really what we're after. Okay, so we'll siege this down, then declare war on these guys, and then immediately... Um, turn around and declare war on this guy. We could do it now, actually. Just The only thing is, I don't want anything of this to come through, so... Grab this one, since we do have a claim on it, and then, um, huh. we don't want the rest of your stuff. I'm actually just going to um, Sure, we got way too many um, relationship slots now anyway. There we go, and then immediately declare war on you. <sighs> Anything I can do to get them um, a lot more loyal. Um, I could fiddle around with the cultures here a bit. Like... If we make some decisions here. Actually, let's make decision against some, let's see, some culture that we don't really care about. I don't know. The Bithynians here, what can we do? We can sacrifice stability. So who's the ones with the lower support at the moment are the oligarchs. Hmm. It's only five, but... I mean, it gave us a bit. But not much. Stability. Um, this doesn't cost any though. We are very, very... Yeah. I mean, we're still not going to get it up to, you know sensible levels and so who are we here we probably do want a democrat which is rubbish at the moment oh somewhat scorned now as well they are died all right well when in doubt, change the physician to whatever faction is whiny, which would be this one. There you go, sorted. Um, right, we should still be able to. It's 
still going to be an incredible... Well, it's only 8.55 turning now, so... Yeah, I mean, it'll go down. Go and get the fort going. You go and crush that. And you lot keep doing, doing whatever. Well, you need to do actually do something. And again, stop stopping. Because then if we can get this war sorted very, very quickly, then we could... Um, so many people there. Uh, then we could get this mission completed, which means we get free claims on stuff over there. Okay, we do need someone else here. Um, yeah, either of you is fine. There we go. All right. So, nice, okay, um, what was I saying, uh, this guy we don't actually want anything from, but we can't piece them out just yet, also, I am going to stab the pig now, before I actually forget. Because <clears throat> I know myself, uh, not the optimal one, but hey ho, if we can get it done, then that is good. Ah, oh, that was quicker than I expected. So we now got the ticking war score against this guy. Um, so I think if we just go and grab the actual capital, we should be fine. And then we will have this entire province. We can complete that mission and get uh, free claims on everything. There we go. And I think that should give us claims on everything we need for the rest of it here. I didn't actually check, but... Okay, um, anything of these ones we want? I mean, tribesmen, we do have tribesmen, so I guess this will pay for itself eventually. It might be, you know, like 200 years, but. Um, not going to spam political influence. Tyranny at the moment is a bit. Yeah, let's just go with that. We'll get that person around. So yeah, we do want all of this. So let's see if we can get that siege down. Um, I'm kind of thinking you want to go and smash these armies who apparently are sneaking around here. Fort, sure. All right. Well, things are looking pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can import something. We do want incense. Nope. We do want... Uh, precious metals, yes. Internal, that's fine. Okay, this is looking um, less than ideal, but that's okay. Ah, there we go, perfect. So, can... Oh, it's another year before we can piece you out. So, what do we want to do then? That's going to fall. Um, you should be fine piecing out. I think we actually just want to go and smash some armies. Or do we? We could actually get this guy fully sieged and just piece them out. 
which would make sense. Ah, nice. So you, my friend, do you want to give me that? You do. Let's just double check. We don't want anything else from this guy, so... Let's go for it. We could make them a subject, um, but no. Not in this war, even though... Aggressive expansion isn't really a thing. Let's do that. So now we can do this. Yada yada yada. We do get free claims on everything in um, this province here. Which isn't a great deal, but that means we can piece out this guy. Nice victory there. Uh, let's see if we can go and smash that one then. Civil War, enjoy. So yeah, because uh, we do just want to piece out this guy, we do want to take stuff from take stuff, take stuff from this guy. Okay. Um, that looks like we. Oh, that's us. Oh, we have a local army. All right, that's why we're apparently now able to lead two armies, which is very, very impressive of us. Okay, let's go and actually siege down that fort. There we go. So that fort is done now as well. Uh, these ones will be sieged down automatically. Let's see if we can get these ones done as well. We just want to piece this guy out as soon as possible and preferably not waiting, you know, another year for it. So. Let's get that done. So in terms of missions here now, if we have this entire province, which would be at the end of the war. Dardania, we gain political influence, doesn't really matter. All right. It's nothing super exciting in this war. In fact, we will need to siege down all of these three forts, which is a bit of annoying. Ah, nice. Well, we don't have any money at the moment, but that's okay. Okay, who are you? Well, we don't care, but I guess... Oh, it's the revolt. Well, that's a bit annoying. I don't particularly want to be at war with you. Okay, you go siege that down. Well, you don't seem to be doing anything useful. And that's probably due to me. Um, at this rate, I'm kind of thinking just go and siege down the war leader and then just take from there because I think we should be able to take everything we need from them. Might be wrong, but we'll see. Well, go and do something. That's a pretty good doing. In fact, I am going to control you manually. Also, you go and deal with those things. Because this guy we can definitely piece out um, ourselves, so we should look at doing that. Oh, come on. Um, who wants to be in charge here? 
preferably not the Democrat, although they are the ones who are most influential at the moment. Let's put you in charge. I mean, you are ridiculously loyal. There you go. Make me proud. And yeah, you just keep smashing all of these troops. In fact, go and crush that one as well. Why does this one keep flipping? Ah, I see. Alright. This is starting to look pretty good now. Oh god. Um, each head of a family will lose a holding and 10 loyalty. Ugh. But we do get approval. Which hopefully, yeah, it does tip that scale, so that's okay then. Yeah, we don't need a political influence at this point, so I'm happy to do that. Right, nice, you're done. Uh, go and siege down that one as well then. And you, yeah, go and chase them down. Siege ability, yes please. Um... Army movement speed is very nice as well, um, but yeah, let's just go for siege ability. And let's just enjoy them suiciding troops into us. Okay, that's fallen automatically. We do need these, this one and then that one, and then we can definitely piece out this guy. Although, to be honest... Um, Um, we are very close to just being able to piece them out anyway. Gain claim? Um, yes. Who are you? The physician. Well, she's the physician, she can heal herself. <clears throat> Okay, there we go. Now if we just siege this one down as well, we can piece out this guy. And yeah, for you, you can be independent as well. <clears throat> All right, but you, I, I really don't want to be at war with you. We stand nothing to gain from this war. Yes. Okay, excellent. Hmm. I mean... <laughs> These are both pretty rubbish, to be perfectly honest. Um, I think we're just going to ignore that. There's nothing else really we can do with them, so just go away. And once... Let's just make you independent and you can go and do something. Uh, once this one has fallen, then we should be able to piece out for everything here, which isn't a great deal more we want. It's just he's got bajillion forts in this area here, which is slightly frustrating. Okay. And then looking at, there we go, next war, so let's see what we want. We want that, and we want that, and then we want that. And that's all. Yeah. I mean, do, we don't really want, no, no. That's too small and used as a client state, so we're just going to ignore that. All right, there we go. Um, 
gain popularity, gain free political influence. We need to put someone in charge of Macedon who is of either Adaid or Raskid. Okay. Actually, let's just double check here. Paeonia, Chalkidiki is one of them, just to make sure that we aren't, you know, assigning one for Dardania. No, we should be fine. Okay. Raskid or Adaid? Should be easy enough to sort out. I mean, you are pretty rubbish. So are you, but at least you're not a democrat, so yeah, let's put you in charge there. Should have actually checked regarding the power as such, but that is fine. Okay, finish mission. There we go. Right, so next one where we can get free claims is Moesia, which is... This region here, we don't want that one. I really don't want that one. <laughs> uh, game, why you do this? All right, that means we'll have to go to war the old fashioned way. So we do have, I well, we still have a truce with you until June, but we can circumvent that by, well, just attacking that way. So, looking at this, how many claims have we got on you at the moment? Just the one. So we definitely want to sort out one more. We do have a claim on that one. We can get claim on either of these ones as well. So, he won't have any more coastline that way. Uh, this is not a full state. So, yeah. We'll pick one of these anyway. see um, which one's got the main Caria Meditarius that's that one sure let's go with that one um, what else do we have claims on we do have claims here um, we do actually have another claim on Armenia as well um, we do have claims on you how are you doing for allies ah you're allied to Rome or a subject to them or something, or guaranteed. Um, we kind of want to save Rome for now. So let's not go for that just yet then. Unless we get a mission for it, of course. Um, so no, I mean... Guess what we want to do is get all our troops down there though. I'll get two over there and two there, I guess. All right. I mean, by the time the troops are over there. Oh, we didn't finish this one now. Ah, well, it would have dragged on the war for three more months, so probably not worth it. Oh yeah, I haven't sorted out this, have we either? Oh. <laughs> yeah. It really needs to be automated. I mean, it's great when you're small, but as soon as you start growing to any form of size, it should be. I mean, we can't do anything here. Now let's just, the only thing we can do from here is, Im well, maybe. All right. So, say like, I want to import precious metals. So how does this work? Oh. Where am I importing this to? 
Is it just a capital? Let's see here. Can we get silk? No. Uh, dyes we don't want. Incense? No. Okay, can we get anything useful? I might assume that the answer to that question is no. Ah, oh, honey. Does not have a surplus of stone. But where is this being imported to? Or does it not matter? Right, base metals. No. Alright, let's try this here then. I don't know. Fish. Um... I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to finish this episode here um, and see if I can figure it out between the episodes. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.